M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. I have an RTL version 4 dongle and I'm going to install HDSDR that you can see running in the right hand side. Part of the reason I like it is it has this option. I just go to options here. It has an option for cat to radio omni rig. It means I can connect it to my radio and control and change the frequency using H. DSDR and everything just changes and I like I like the thought of doing that so first thing you want to do is go to this page here and at the bottom here you've got some downloads and I've gone for it and I've gone for the beta 10 installer so just here click download and then you'll get this message at the top click that download at verif unverified at your risk click it again and then click it again more info and then you can click run okay now obviously I've already run this so I just just go next 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 and you will have HDSDR installed on your PC at the end when it says launch I would I would untick that because if you launch it it's not going to detect your dongle now I'm assuming you've already installed a dongle in the past because that's gonna be a lot more straightforward if not go to this link here and I will provide this link in the description under instructions. I'll also add a video of me installing my dongle using AirSpy and just go here where it says how to. When you click that just here you've got all the instructions of how to plug your dongle in the PC and load AirSpy and, and load it but my video will show you that as well. The next section see here where it says because I'm using an RTL of course if you've got a different device you've got all this to you know to choose from i'm using the rtl that you can see on screen rtl sdr version 4 so just here where it says rtl sdr dvb t dab that one there see where it says website right click and click open link in new tab and you'll get this new tab open now scroll down and you're going to need to extract that into the same file that was just downloaded with your full HDSDR setup. But that's not as hard as you think. So first thing is just click it. Obviously everything I've done, I've just done. Click it and you're gonna get this appear, this window here. And these are the files you need uh, inside your file where HDSDR was installed. Because the way dongles work is everything's in a file and it's all, it's, it's, you know, if you're not techie, I'm not techie really. But the, the key word here is, see this one here, DLL. Um, files are put into the file and then everything starts to work. That's my understanding of it and I am not an expert. So you wanna extract that to the correct folder. So what you do is click extract, okay? Then by default, it will put this into your local disk. Mine's C, they nearly always are C, but yours might be D. But see it says local disk here, double click. And then go down until you see the word the number 86 okay keep going it will be there somewhere programs then 86 there it is there program files 86 double click and now look for your hd sdr folder that it's created yeah there you are click and then what you're going to do I'm not going to click OK myself so I've already done it but you're going to click OK okay and that is going to put it into your into the right folder so that things can work so close that down and when you go back to now you can start your HDSDR when you first start it it will, it will ask you to select the correct fo file so this will sort of reappear and make sure you click EXTO RTL dot dll and that'll be it then you'll be set so i've closed mine down i'm going to click it click start here and there you are can you see how it's i've got to select it now so exto rtl i'm going to double click that and it fires up and then if we look at our program when we click here on the left where it says sdr device f8 click it you can see it finds your device so that's fine it's all working and i'm fine i'm literally brand new to this that if i want to select the frequency i'm looking at the bottom one here 
so four three four if I go to five five zero I should get my node there you are that's my node there that's in this room so it's, it's going to pick it up easily okay I mean it's as good as your antenna of course now I'm not going to teach it now because I haven't learnt it myself but if I turn down if I want to start using OmniRig, which is my other device, I would have to go to Options, Cat to OmniRig, and then Sync Rig 1, which says it's inactive. Okay, so now if I just go OmniRig, like so. Now remember, I've literally never done this, so if I get it wrong, I'm just doing it at the end of this video for fun. So there's the rig. Okay, Omni Rig, Rig 1, 991, COM 6. So let's make sure that the rig is plugged in. Right click, Device Manager. And we probably might have to add a DLL file to make this work. And I still want to show you, it's fun. So I know I've got two selections there. Let's unplug the one I want, which is gone now. Now I'll plug it back in just so I know. It's on my FT991. I'm really I'm practicing in front of you so I think it's COM6. So yeah it's COM, no. Yes it is, COM6 here. Okay Silicon Labs. Got a couple of radios plugged in there. COM6 and then we need to get the COM port correct as well. Okay so We've got it connected. You can see there, FT991, COM6, and board rate 9600. If we look on the actual radio, just up here a minute, hit the, the menu, and you'll see that menu 31, we've made sure that the, the cap rate is at 9600, okay? So it matches. Come out of menu. So now if I go down you can see the frequency just here on the left, the lower one. If I scroll it up and down, it's changing, okay? Now, the conditions, I don't know what's happened today. Like, there's something going on with the sun today, but they are the worst I've seen them for a long time. But you can see it's working. I'll just show you where OmniRig is. So if you're brand new to OmniRig, and really, I, although I'm not brand new to it, I haven't actually used it for a long time, go to the link that I provide in the description. And you've got OmniRig client, and then you need OmniRig itself. Now the client looks like this. That's what the client looks like here. Because the idea is that you can actually control multiple rigs. I'm only controlling one. But the main part that you download is actually OmniRig, the part that you know that you for setting it up. And that's the one that if you click up here, it says open dialogue. So this is like your connection thing. You don't ever, t as far as I can see, you don't really mess with this very much as far as I can see, the client part. You're more just making sure that on rig one you selected, you know, 991, COM6, which when you went right click, device manager, like so. And it was COM, forget those two, COM6, yeah. Now you can add more than one rig at a time that you've got rig two. So in a, in a different configuration, you could put rig two different com, different board, and control two rigs at the same time. That's why OmniRig is one of the favorite ones. The other one is FL, FL rig, but uh, this is, seems to be the one that everyone uses. So as long as you just minimize that, you know, don't forget about it for now. Leave it running in the background. When you go back to HSDR, it works. And I'll just show you those options again. It was options, cat radio to Omni. And then you've got setup here, although mine just actually connected straight away. It says here, sync rig one. Sync one. All these boxes are ticked. Sync to rig, sync to rig, sync to tune frequency, sync modulation, sync LO frequency. Okay. And uh, I'll go about options. I mean, there's so much more you can do with this program. I'm just literally touching the surface. What else you got? Set converter, offset, swap CW, sync rig 2. Remember, we haven't connected a rig 2, but we could do. I'll do that. In it. And there's, let's have a look at the setup. You just click setup. Oh, no window is open when I click that. So 
So, well, I think we'll leave it there. I, got, I think I got quite lucky that that actually connected straight away. And we just wish that there was some better activity. It has, you know, 14. And it's, it's just not, I don't know what's happened today, but everything is bad activity today and I just don't understand why. So but thanks for watching my YouTube channel and uh, please remember to hit the like, subscribe and um, be nice to have you um, as one of my subscribers. 7-3, all the best, bye for now.